I'm here to get my boots fitted by the outdoor experts. So Kate, I need finally a new pair of boots. Um, okay. What I know about my feet is that they're very skinny okay. and they're sort of collapsing a little bit, so I need lots of support. Collapsed That's about it really. Arches. Okay, we can find something like that. What are the boots going to be used for? Um, from mild sort of Sunday strolls mm -hmm. to tougher stuff, so Lake District, Scotland, across Europe, you know, okay. I need to be able to get up a mountain as well. Something with a bit of versatility. Yeah. Okay. This shoe, for example, it's really robust, it's got a good vibram sole, that could be a good option. I'd like to also just see how you feel about a leather scarf boot. Again, the same fit, really nice and narrow, it's going to give you that support you need. So finally, I'm going to suggest one more boot, this is the lower Renegade. The one that I'm holding is just a narrower version of this one. Right. This brand comes in a really tapered shape, it's wide at the front in the toe box, lots of space to wriggle, narrow at the heel, it really holds you in nicely. Sounds good, so let's try them on. So I've got you stood in here because your feet do expand once you stood up, so it's really important you stood in these for me. Can you move your feet close together? Yeah. And right to the back of the device? Mm hmm Thank you. So I'm just going to measure the length and the width. And what about these socks? They're Bridgedale Merino wool. That means it's antibacterial, it means it's anti-odour, and it just means you can wear it a bit longer. So you've got your arch here, and it's really important that we protect your arch. Your arch does this mo movement. Every time you step, it flexes and it flattens a bit. That arch is what absorbs all the shock from the ground as you step. And when we're trying to preserve that, the footbed can really do the job. It sits there and all this reinforcement's at the back of your arch. If it was too far forward, we would lose that, that movement there. Ah, so the support isn't in the middle of the foot, on the, the inside, right it's at towards the heel. The back. Yeah, it's all at the back and that's just to support it. If you think of a bridge, it's really important that the edges are supported. So we're going to try and get a footbed to fit you that will give that support right towards the back. I want to be able to keep walking as long as possible. These are the Scarpa Trek, full grain leather, and I'd be interested to see what you think of these. <laughs> we're just going to get you walking a little bit up and over this ramp. There's two things to think about. Number one, going uphill. Think about your heels. How do they feel? What's happening there? Yeah. Do you Good. feel nicely held down in the back of the shoe? Yeah, they feel nice and solid, really comfortable. And then as you head down the ramp, or just think about your toes. Really scuff your feet, shove them into the front of your shoes. Oh. Have you got a nice clearance for your toes? Yep. So you're spending half a day walking up a mountain, your heels feel nice. Yeah. The afternoon walking down a mountain, your toes feel nice. It's a different fit to what you've last tried. So it's a tapered fit, meaning you've got a lot more volume out the front. You should have loads of space to crunch up your toes, wiggle them around, but it's really narrow at the heel cup. Should hold you in down into the back of the shoe. You'll yeah. notice that walking uphill. Yeah. We just need to make sure that you don't have too much volume at the front. I like the way it feels. It's very snug. I feel like a mountain guide in these. So <laughs> we are back to scarf for this time. This is a new buck leather. So you've got a bit of stretch and a little bit of shrinking capacity there. That really fits my foot well. Thanks, Kate, you've been really helpful. You're more than welcome. I do just need to mention one more thing. In terms of looking after your boots, making sure they last you as long as possible, it's a new buck leather. That does mean you have to treat it with new buck leather specific wax. Mm -hmm. Companies like Nick Wax or Granger's all do their own version. It will just make sure that the outside remains water resistant. That prevents any saturation which leads to damage and that will protect the Gore-Tex membrane on the inside. Anything that's new buck specific, make it last a long, long time. Good tip. Thank you.